All right, it's been um, two weeks since the last video, um, and we're finishing up the mission UI in that one. And since then, we polished the UI, done stuff. So here is the stuff that we have done. So we have finished up the UI. Last time you saw it, it was super ugly. I think that it was just all like boxes and 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 just ugly stuff. But now it's way nicer. It still has this placeholder star map in here, um, but no more ugly blue, blue boxes or red boxes. Uh, let's see, when you highlight stuff, so if you were to mouse over these locations here, um, they get populated on the right side of the screen over here. So for instance, I don't know, this is Arado, and it is, um, it's a small rocky planet apparently. And it, um, we don't have any description yet, but if we did, there'd be a very interesting description here for Arado, which is a small rocky planet. And I guess I can show, I could prove it, I could prove things because I don't know why I'm always thinking that people are going to say Malar. So if I type in, let's say, asteroid entity, let's do, um, let's do a station entity, actually. If I find a station, like here, station L2 entity, and I were to give it a UI description here, I'd say, like, um, this is a very cool station, something like that. Uh, what does this one look like? Okay, because we're not guaranteed that this thing's going to spawn every time, so it looks like that. And then I'll rebuild. This is what we see, by the way. Then we rebuild it and stuff. And then when we rebuild, it converts all of this stuff here um, in Unity into an XML file. I guess I could show you that, actually, if I go over here. Do, 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 do. And then it rebuilds it into this over here. And then if I look to, what did I say? Like, this is a cool station. Uh, endure, right? Oh, well. But it's somewhere. Somewhere in this mix of stuff. And then this XML file is actually the file that's loaded at, at runtime. So, whatever. Okay. I'm going to press play and hope that that station was there. Now, I'm trying to think. It was like a flat. It was like a flat, a flat thing. So, okay. Do, do, do. Running, running, running. And maximize. Was it there? We'll find out in a second. Let's go survey here. Here? No, it's not there. That's too bad. I'll run it again and it will be here eventually. Um, since last, since two weeks ago too, we also improved how our skybox is generated so that at any resolution, hopefully, um, or at least at most resolutions, the skybox won't uh, generate planets off screen. Um, now this is back again, looking for that flat planet. Come on, flat station, give me flat station. Ugh, I don't know why it is station. I should have done like an asteroid or something, right? Something that's there all the time. But the point is, the, the things that have unique names, unique descriptions, and it is implemented on the back end, but we just still have to go through and add things on the front end, which is usually what happens. So um, it just will never show up, so it doesn't matter. Whatever. Fine. Okay. But then we also changed a few other things. By the way, the reason you can't see on the top, I'm going to zoom this out. See, it's because I'm, um, I'm using the 1920 by 1080 screen size, but my whole monitor is 1920 by 1080. So. Uh, so that it actually looks more like this. Okay, but this is the whole UI for missions now. What you have is like types. So we have a mining mission. We have a salvage mission. Ignore this, the um, the pop-up. I'm experimenting with putting pop-ups where they just, um, where like a Windows pop-up where it goes right above the cursor position, but I don't know how I feel about it. So um, but anyway, so there's a few different types of missions. There's mining missions. There are salvage missions. There are survey missions, and then we also have quests, but I'll get to all that later, right? And different, um, different body types are valid for different types of missions. So, for, ex for example, you can't, uh, you can't mine on a station, which is why you couldn't see stations. So, Selene Center is a station, um, but you won't see it under mining because what does it mean to even mine at a station, right? And then, by contrast, salvaging is for something like a station, and so that's why you don't see any of these uh, system bodies, any of these you know, asteroids or whatever. So, there's that. And then last one, a survey. And if you were to mouse over all of these things, uh, the resource, resources say contents unknown, perform a survey mission to reveal them. And that's because we haven't surveyed them. And once you survey them, the contents or whatever that they have will become known. So it's all that. Um, and then the last thing is quest. I'll just get to quest later though. So what else? Oh yeah, I should make a ship. So what I'll do is I'll add a ship real quick. Um, and something with the skybox, I don't know if you can notice this. See like this shimmering? See how this, this planet here is kind of shimmering a little bit? Or um, the pixels are, well, shimmering is a fine word. Uh, the pixels maybe are kind of staggering. The, re the reason it's happening doesn't matter, right? But we adjusted it, so now at normal scales, 
and usually you'd be playing a normal scale, the shimmering goes away. So the, I don't know, the pixels in the moving skybox look a lot better now. And I don't know how well you can see this on YouTube, uh, but when you play, you'll notice the difference. And then we also added the planet tooltip, which is kind of cool. So if you had to hover over something like this, you'll see, hey, that's Nakula, it's a moon. And if you were to go back here, you can see Nakula, see how it's blue, right? So that's Nakula, it's blue. And it's the same Nakula here. So this little thing. But I want to add a hanger real quick. And then I want to add what? Fuel. And then I have to go off a of full screen though, don't I? Like this and like this and like this. You don't need to see all that. And here and here and boom, 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 boom. Just adding some random amount of fuel, just enough fuel. Okay, but we also added random events. And right now I'm forcing the random events to, to spawn as soon as the mission starts. So as soon as the mission starts, what you're going to see is a random event. And it's sort of deliberate. And the intention is that these random events that you're about to see are sort of like the, the chance job pop-ups that you'd see in The Sims. So what happens as soon as a mission starts? So here, oh yeah, this, this is new too. This isn't, see, this isn't that new to me, so I forget, but it's new to you guys. So uh, we made this ship selection screen look a lot better. And actually, I'm going to make some colonists because then you kind of see what it looks like. So I'll, I'll go back to a survey. I don't actually need, I don't need to do a survey, but I'm going to do it anyway. And then you go back to select ships. You can see you have all these uh, colonists down here. And it shows you things like their health and their skills and their, their current morale, which is all zero. But if you select a ship and then you select the colonist, this guy goes up here. There's a white background, but that'll be fixed. And if you select it again here or down here, they get toggled. So you can do either one. And if you had multiple ships, you can select the ship that you want the crew to be assigned to. So if you wanted some crew to go to one ship and some crew to go to another ship, you could do that. Or if you don't care, you can just keep spamming and they'll just go to the available ships as they're added. And actually, I'll just show you. I'll show you that too. Um, but let me add some space here. Blah, blah, blah. One day I won't do this live, but for now I do this live because it's easier for me. And I just, I, I think it's, I don't know. I like showing the real stuff. I don't like showing like the, you know, the fake fabricated stuff that, you know, anybody could do. That could just be completely lies. So I just like to show you the real stuff. So if you select the ships, so I'm going to select two ships. Ships have names too, Sierra and Lambda. Apparently are two ships. And also there's some things here, like it shows like the amount of cargo space. And the amount of cargo space here is 27 out of 30. And it's 27 out of 30 because there's um, a fuel requirement. Each, of the, each one of these ships needs three fuel. So if I were to unselect the ship here, the fuel requirement comes down to three, and that's why it says 27 out of 30, because three of the cargo spots on the ship are being used for fuel. And this only matters, cargo space only matters, in this case, for requirements, um, for the stuff that a mission might need. So if a quest needs corn, and you need 10 fuel, then you only, then you only have space for 20 corn and that sort of thing. It also shows the cargo space. But anyway, if I do this, this first guy's going to go here. And second guy goes here. But if I clicked on this ship, Sierra, now the people will go here. And again, if I didn't care, and I just want, and I, you know, I, I just don't care, I just, want, just let me do these guys, they'll go to the next ship automatically like this. So, like that. So that's how that works. Uh, and also there's a bunch of stats displayed. So it shows like the total cargo space you have for created things. Uh, it shows the total crew count, right? So it says six out of six. Um, it shows the highest stat. So the highest doctor is apparently a level four, which is this person, Felicia, and she's unemployed. So if I'm looking to see if there's somebody else, uh, let me look for, okay, this. So see Carl is a level five mover, mover or laborer. We like to change the names all the time. And Thomas is a three. I think that's the highest. So if I remove Carl, this number should become three. And it does. So yippee, it does it. Um, and then if there was loot created, it would show the loot here. Although it only shows loot if you've surveyed the location previously. It also shows how, you know, the, the distance and the, the duration and the type and stuff like that. And also mission levels, but we don't have, we don't really have any missions with levels yet. And then it shows again, the requirements. So this needs biomass and needs biomass because people eat and it has a success chance, which I forgot to format this to have a zero in the front. It doesn't matter. Okay. But I don't really want all this stuff and I don't need these guys on here either. For these purposes so when i select create mission what's going to happen is there's going to be a pop-up and the pop-up is going to just say some ugly text in a not completely formatted window but what this is are random events 
And so the idea is that when your mission is going on, so you send miners out to a moon. And the idea is that you're going to get a random event that says something like, uh-oh, your miners have encountered a distress beacon. What should they do? And then you can select something like, you know, send a crew to investigate, or you could maybe choose ignore. Or you make it a random event that says, hey, um, one of your miners fell down a mine or a well. And what do you want to do? And maybe the choice is something like, you know, send someone out, so send someone in to rescue him, uh, leave him to die or whatever you want to do. So that's what's about to pop up when I select create mission. See? And again, this is only popping up because I'm forcing it to happen. Otherwise, what happens is there's like um like a 5% chance or a 10% chance or something that um, a mission will have a random event. And then it's just going to pop up at some point throughout the mission's duration. And then mission events can do all sorts of things. They can do anything that a mission can do. So a mission event can have requirements. So maybe they only, so like for instance, a mission pop-up that says that your crew has fell down a well. That should obviously only pop up if you have at least one, one crew member. And probably it should only pop up if you have two, because if you have one, then you can't send in crew to rescue your crew. Right? So, and so there's just stuff like that. And in terms of creation, it can create a person. Uh, you know, it can create loot. It could hurt your crew. It could remove your crew completely, which would basically be like them dying. Um, so you can do all that sort of stuff. And then you have all these choices. And then each choice, we're calling them choice, has a random consequence. So just like in The Sims or something. So if you choose to, so in, let's say that the mission was, there's a survey or there's a, a distress beacon. And you go and, and say and choose, hey, I am going to investigate it. Um, sometimes you'll get something good. And sometimes it'll be something bad because otherwise you could just Google, you know, what should I do? And you always get the right one. And so instead, it's just kind of random. You know, sometimes you do it, sometimes you don't. And then in terms of ignoring them, it's something that what's going to happen is or what is happening. You can't ignore most of these in terms of like, I just don't want to do it. Some of them you can obviously like if there's a, uh, if there's a distress beacon, you can ignore it. But if it's something like a choice, like let's say, I don't know. Pirates, let's say there's an event that says slavers are trying to kidnap your crew. What should you do? Or, or let's say slavers, slavers are, slavers demand, demand that you send one crew member to them or something like that. And maybe the choices are to send them a crew or to attempt to run. So you can't really ignore because you can attempt to run and maybe they'll attack you. So you have to make a decision. But in general, you can ignore them. So anyway, so in this case, I'll choose accept the person. And again, this is a description of events. And, and like this header has a name. The back end of populating it's already done, but all the like, but creating all the events that's what we're that's what we're working on this week, and creating quests and balancing missions that's what we're doing this week. Um, and then you have choices, and they can have any number of choices, and the choices, uh, the text for the choice is based off of the event. So in this case, the event is accept the person, and then I'll accept the person, and then it'll tell you, hey, this is you selected that, and here's your outcome, and then you select OK or whatever. And also the button here is based. Can be can be whatever we want. It doesn't have to say okay, uh, like so. It's very event specific. So the event might say, "Hey, you just accepted the person. He likes being here." And then you can say, and the button text could say, "That makes me happy," or whatever you want to do. So I select okay, and the mission's going to fly off. This is a survey mission. I really wish I didn't have so many people, because God knows what will happen. But we'll find out. And there's going to be some mission ticks. So what I'm looking at here is the mission ticks, and once they hit zero. Once this timer hits zero, the mission is going to arrive at its location, which it does. And now it's flying back. And what I'm showing you is uh, in this random event pop-up, I've created a person. And this random person is going to appear eventually once the ship lands. And the ship should be coming back any time now here. And so the ship's landing. It's doing its you know ship stuff or whatever. What was that, a survey I did? And... Then some guy, here you go, some guy comes, comes. So, Son Nelson, which is a good enough name. What's this? This icon's messed up, huh? Or maybe it didn't have an icon before. Hmm. See this? It's an icon for fuel, but it's, I don't know what it was before, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't that. Maybe these things didn't have icons before, because maybe we've repurposed them. Maybe they used to have headers or something like that. Because hmm. I bet that one of these things they're using them. That's like one of these things. I'm just going to re-end close this though. So there's that. And then lastly, there's quests. So we did, we redid the mission UI, which hopefully looks way better than colored boxes. 
Then we added a system for random events. We added the planet tooltip. And then we worked on quests. And the way quests work, which is kind of cool, I guess what I'm going to do, this console window is annoying me, so I'm going to turn off those messages here and here. Goodbye messages. But we added quests. Quests are kind of like missions. Um, so with a mission, you the player gets to choose that he wants to go mining or he wants to go surveying or he wants to salvage. Um, but with a quest, they don't get to choose any of that. A quest is a random a, a thing randomly pops up and says, hey, we need corn or hey, our miners are trapped. Will you help us? That sort of thing. And it's time limited. Let me just full screen it so you can see a little better. It's time limited. And... You just get stuff out of it. So in this case, it has a little description and it says from Bob the trader and it says, we're hungry. We need blah, 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 whatever. Um, and then it shows the requirements. So they want, so in this case it says, we need crops. Please send some. Hey, teach us to farm too. This is just an example. I hope that the real ones are you know, more elaborate or something. But anyway, so there's some requirements. They need crops and they also need someone with level five farming. So it shows you down here that they want uh, food and that they want, at least a level five farmer. And then if you go to quest rewards, they'll give you metal apparently, and they'll also give you mechanic skill. And it has a, a randomized location, which is Doris. And you can find Doris in the skybox, or you can find it down here. So Doris is a rocky planet, and I just kind of like that. So I don't, I'm not good with colors. What color was Doris? What color were you, Doris? Doris is like this color. Oh, but it's rocky, okay. There's not space for every body in the skybox. So sometimes bodies aren't added because there's not space for all of them. Because the space is based off of their, um, their positioning in the skybox is based off of their real like solar system or their star system position. So sometimes there's not space for all of them. And maybe that's the case here because I don't find Doris or I'm blind and can't see her. Poor Doris. Sad day. Or Doris is just bigger. Oh, Doris is here. I just I just thought she'd be so small, right? I thought Doris was tiny. I just thought she was like... I don't know why I thought. I was like looking for a tiny thing. Maybe because it said small rocky. But anyway, here's Doris. So here's Doris. So that's exactly... So what I like is you can see exactly where like the mission is and where your guys are going. I think that that's kind of fun. And so that's where that is, Doris. Um, and then the, the dude who owns it is apparently Bob the Trader. And, and this is like um, the quest givers... What we're calling them are system citizens, and they're real people who exist. Well, they're not real, but they're they're real in the game. And there's these these like citizens who exist, these random quest givers. And the idea is that they'll maybe be like a a traitor, like like this word, not like a person who who um, betrays you, but a person who trades goods, right, buys and sells stuff. So the idea is that maybe there's a traitor, maybe there's a scientist, and maybe there's a mechanic. And maybe there's some other stuff like, you know, like a robot or a pirate or something like that. And that in all your playthroughs, the quest giver is kind of the same. So it's so, there's, so in every system, there's always a Bob the Trader, which is obviously a Bob the Builder ripoff. But in every system, there's a Bob the Trader or something like that. And that's kind of the idea of it. And we just think it's kind of more fun to, to, um, to, to be given a quest from someone with a real name. We might also randomize it too. And this guy has a portrait, but we might randomize it. I don't know. Uh, but, you know, also maybe not. Oh, by the way, a little thing that I bet you didn't know, but I'm going to tell you. This planet right behind Bob is actually the same planet that he's going to, right? It's actually Doris. See? It's kind of cool. And same with this person here. This is actually, this is an example quest, so it's not populated totally correctly, but um, it says Plank Lab. Is Plank Lab a real one, or is this actually totally mock up? Oh, no, actually it's Plank Lab, so that's cool. But the um, the citizen wasn't set up correctly for us. That's why he has a cool... It actually looks cool, right? It's a question mark. Who is that guy? Uh, but anyway, that's a little thing. I just thought it was, it was just a nice touch. You can kind of see that, hey, it's Bob from this place. So, um, And just like with quests, quests are very similar to missions, but you don't get to select the location because it doesn't really make sense. And you select ships, and it you know, has a very similar thing. And Except in this case, I have no ships and no columns. But same thing as the last screen, though. It shows, oh, here's the difference. So here, um, if you remember in a few missions, well, I'll just show you maybe if I were to go oh a survey so it's a survey to, no, sorry, well, survey is fine um, here it, see how it says stats cargo space zero out of zero well it's different from this one because in this quest they're actually producing something did I click it yeah I did they're actually producing something 
and what they're producing is 10 metal. And so it says that I need 10. So you need like enough cargo space. You need 10. So this is a small thing. It's different there. Um, and then here, you know, what I should do the crew count should probably say like one out of zero, right? Because you need at least one farmer. I think that there's a component for that. There's like a minimum crew count component. So it's probably my fault for making a bad quest, huh? Because I think, because mining missions require a guy, but they still don't say it either, huh? Well, my bad. Oops. I'll have to fix that. I'm going to write that down, actually. So what's that? It's something like uh, crew count, crew count minimum. This is not the best time for me to write it down, but I just don't want to forget. So crew count minimum in mission overview. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I'm sure that there are some little things that I've forgotten, but uh, but I don't know. So we're trying to make this UI look nice, and it is mostly done. And then I, I talked about it briefly, but, but for the rest of the week, what we're going to do is add new quests. And we have a bunch of quests already, but they're, not in, they're just not in the rotation yet. Um, and we haven't, you know, added them to Unity, but we've designed them and stuff. But we're going to add all the quests. We're going to balance the missions. Um, we're going to add some more uh, system citizens. And there actually are a bunch already. Um, they're just not implemented yet. Um, so, I don't know. Hopefully, this was cool. By the way, I got a new mic, if you couldn't tell. So, that's, that's the thing. So that sounds different. That's why. I should have said at the start. I didn't. Um, but, um, anyway, that's, that's a thing. So, thanks for watching, people. And uh, bye. Bye-bye.